How to Deal with Irrational People. The ebook's out today, and I want to give you a quick tip on just what to do. Coming up next. Hey, this is Paul Coliani with The Overwhelmed Brain with another episode, these are kind of rare, of Minutes to Momentum. And this is just a quick segment. If you haven't heard these before, uh, it's the show that I put out in between the regular episodes of The Overwhelmed Brain. It's got different music. They have a different feel. I have a different attitude. All because it's outside the confines of the regular show. So today I want to give you a quick tip. Uh, based on the book that was released today and tell you that the book, this is today is May 27th, 2015. The ebook, I should say, How to Deal with Irrational People is free today. So if you're listening to this, go to Amazon, type in Irrational People or How to Deal with Irrational People, either one, and look for the book. You're going to see my <laughs> big head on the cover. It's going to say How to Deal with Irrational People and you can download it for your e-reader for free. If you don't have an e-reader, you can also get the Kindle reader for your PC or Mac for free as well. So one of the things I want to talk about, if you yourself run into an irrational person, or if you live with one, or if you're out and about and your friend starts to become irrational, one of the things that I talk about in the book is this. Don't disagree with the irrational person. Now, what that means is when someone's becoming irrational, they are going into a basically a fight or flight mode. They, they need to survive and they have a need to fulfill. And if they don't fulfill that need, they feel like they're going to die or have great pain of some sort. But what happens when they are becoming or they are irrational and you decide to disagree with them saying, you're just being irrational. You're just, you're not uh, thinking logically. It's true. They're not. And it's hard to communicate with someone who's, who's thinking illogically. It's, it's hard to communicate with someone who is being irrational. So by not disagreeing, what you're doing is building a rapport with them. And what happens when you build a rapport with someone is that you're meeting them in their space. You're going to the place that they're at, at the time, and meeting them there and saying, hey, I'm here too. I get you. I understand you. You don't have to say, I believe you, but you can say, I understand you. And the best way to get someone who's irrational back to a, mo a more reasonable or rational state is to say, okay, what's happening? Tell me. And when they tell you, you don't say, what? That's ridiculous. I don't believe you. You say, oh, really? What else is happening? You actually are interested. You be curious about what they're telling you, no matter how crazy it might sound. What that means if they're saying, uh, aliens come down every night and, and kidnap me and then bring me back. No matter how crazy it might sound to you, it may not sound crazy to some of you, <laughs> but no matter how crazy something sounds to you, just go, really? Tell me more. What, what happened? And what that does is let them know that you are a safe person to talk to. And when you're safe, you build rapport. You let them know. They start to trust you. And what that does when they trust you is that you can continue the conversation at their level. So instead of trying to bring them back to rational space, join their irrational space. Be a part of their reality. When you're a part of their reality and you can talk to them in the space they're in, they feel comfortable with you. And then when they're comfortable with you and they build some rapport and trust and they feel safe with you, then you can slowly bring them back to a more, should I say, commonly accepted reality. And you can do that by saying, okay, what else happened? Tell me more. Uh, what can we do about this? You know, you're on their side. And then you can go, hey, you want to go talk about it some more? You want to go get a, a cup of coffee? You're starting to introduce 
little by little uh, rational elements of life back into the situation. So that's just one way to deal with it. Don't disagree with them. Get on their side. Make it look like you do believe them, but not saying, I believe you 100% unless you really have to. I mean, I've done that before. But the idea is just to help them understand that you are safe to talk to. You're not going to judge what they're saying. You're going to go, okay, what's happening? You're going to give them the space they need and the safety that that place that they can go to where they at least feel understood. And that's the first step. The, the very first step in any communication is wanting to be understood. Once they feel understood, then they might start listening to more reasonable things. But you don't want to try to convince someone. You just want to get them to a place where they are less irrational. They're less uh, emotional about the situation. And when you do that, then you have a chance. You have a chance to bring them back. So anyway, that was uh, something that I talk about in the book, and I talk about all kinds of techniques you can use in the book. Get it today while it's free. Today is the day, May 27th, and, oh, I guess tomorrow is the day too. Tomorrow, May 28th, it'll probably still be free, but after that, it goes on sale. So, um, And even if you can't get it for free, check it out anyway. You'll, you'll dig it. You'll love it. It has all kinds of tools just like this. And uh, that's all I have to say today. Just wanted to reach out today and to let you know that. If you're a subscriber to this show, then this probably popped in your feed already and you got it on the day I'm talking about it. But if you're not a subscriber and you just check out the show every now and then, you probably missed the free day. So I I am sorry about that, but uh, that's just how it goes. But I appreciate you listening and, of course, learning and growing. And thank you for stopping by and listening today. Have a great week. You're amazing. It's always good to connect with you like this. And we'll talk to you again soon.